guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today i wanted to do something a bit more casual i don't know i'm testing out this new tripod that i got and by new i mean i had it a long time ago and i put it into storage and forgot about it and it's actually like working really well for me right now and i wanted to film in different areas so we're like in the corner of my room we still have the wood paneling and it's just a cozy day and i thought why not just chill and do a cute makeup tag that I saw. I saw my friend Christina Chang on YouTube do this tag. It's called The Makeup Tag and it was originally created by Amanda of Amanda Makeup and Wine. So I will have both of their videos and both of their channels linked in the description box down below. I'm actually really happy with my eye look today. I tested a new palette that literally just came in the mail yesterday from Juvia's Place. This is the Nomad palette and to me when I saw this I was getting major subculture vibes which is essentially kind of what I did on my eyes today. I have not worn this for a full day yet. This is my first look, so impressed so far. I can do a video. I'm actually thinking of doing some like palette roundup reviews along with the reviews of palettes I have planned for my Instagram. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing like a palette roundup video as well. Cause I also have two more Juvia's Place palettes and I got a new I got a lot of new wet and wild palettes so I'm thinking like a roundup would be nice if I had a lot of like one brand to review with swatches and ah so I'm excited so I might do that let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that below so it's kind of a short tag but I thought that would be kind of fun so the first question is if you could choose one which would it be an amazing studio with equipment a photographer a videographer and an agent or PR from all your favorite brands and an amazing wardrobe You know what, I would go with the PR and the wardrobe, and let me tell you why. I've never pictured YouTube ever being my full-time job. This is my hobby, this is what I like to do, this is what I spend my weekend doing, this is why I wake up early in the morning to film before work, and then at night I'm editing, it's because I like it. <laughs> to me, having like a, an agent and a studio and everything, all of that like is a full-time job. And as great as it would be to have like all of that for free, I feel like that would suck a lot of the fun out of my channel and take out a lot of control that I would have over my own content too. So personally, I would take all the PR and the wardrobe and just keep doing what I'm doing with my channel. Maybe post a little bit more often or do some more different types of videos that I can't really do right now without all those types of products, but then continue with my day job. Like at no point in time am I planning to leave a day job and do YouTube. It's just not gonna happen. But that's kind of the way that I think of that. Question number two is if you could collaborate with anyone in the beauty community, who would it be? Okay, so my favorite larger YouTuber is Taylor from The Taylor. I love her videos. I used to like, okay, so I used to watch her videos back when I was actually tanner and we didn't have anything in common. Like she had oily skin, she was very pale. I was a medium complexion and I had combination skin, but I loved watching her videos and her reviews. Recently, I've actually found out that I have gotten so pale that in certain things, we're like the same shade. Like she mentioned, she had a little bit of self tanner on and was using a concealer and that's my concealer shade right now. <laughs> yeah. And she also, after going through um, Accutane, her skin type is actually closer to mine. Her skin type is mainly um, dry. I would say she probably has combination skin since she does still get oily sometimes but her skin is now mainly dry, kind of like my skin, especially like in the winter. So now that I'm done like fangirling, um, I love her 15 days of foundation series. And I think this would be like the best thing is if she did her upcoming 15 days of foundation, but she brought in like a collaboration partner for like each day. And like each day, both of them would like wear the foundation, do the review, maybe go do something and film it, and then give their thoughts at the end of the day. I think that'd be so cool. And that's what I would want. I would want to do a foundation review, like all day wear test with Taylor. I think that'd be nice. And I also like that the, everything is for charity. She does a lot of great work with Project Beauty Share. So I would love to be involved with something that would also be good for like that charity. Question number three. You can no longer do makeup videos, but you must continue your channel. What types of videos would you make? For me, I think the obvious answer would be a booktube channel. Uh, I love books. I love reading books. I could definitely talk about them forever. I think that'd be the more realistic choice because I did talk about my love for like true crime and how I was in school for CJ and whatnot, but I don't think I'd have enough content there for a whole channel. Whereas with books and with my history with books and with my job in publishing, I have content. <laughs> Uh, so either a booktube 
or I don't know, maybe it'd be like one of those cleaning channels where like they just organize things. I could be at the Puerto Rican Marie Kondo. Like, I could do that. Question number four. PR is something everyone envies. If you could only get PR from one makeup and one skincare brand, which ones would they be? This is such a good question. I The skincare brand is really easy for me to think of. It's what I have the majority of my products from right now, and that's CeraVe. They're really affordable, and their skincare is just so good, especially for sensitive skin, for like combination skin. Uh, doesn't matter what skin type you have, there is a product somewhere in their line that would most likely work for you. Um, and I, like I said, 80% of my skincare routine right now is CeraVe. <laughs> so I would love to be on their PR list. That would be fantastic. For the makeup brand, I really... Huh. I think I would want to be on the PR list of an affordable brand. Some of my favorite brands are affordable brands and I don't know, I feel like I'd be more comfortable accepting PR from like those kinds of brands as opposed to like, it would, this would never happen, but like opposed to like a luxury brand or something. While that would be like elite-ish, you could get expensive products, I don't know how that would fit in my channel, you know? So I would want, I would probably say, hmm, I'd probably say either Juvia's Place or Wet n Wild because I have like the majority of Juvia's Place's palettes already. Um, but if I could get those palettes like a little bit earlier and like get reviews up, I would love that. That'd be fantastic. I love their eyeshadow palette formula. I, I love it. And for Wet n Wild, I'd say the same thing. I love their 10 pan palettes. I love how affordable they are. Not all of their products are good, but they've got some good hidden gems that you could definitely, you know, work with. But yeah, like an affordable brand, I'm, I'm really torn. I don't know if I would pick Juvia's Place or Wet n Wild, but those are kind of like my favorite affordable brands at the moment. Question number five is back to collabs. You can collaborate with one brand, but it cannot be either of the brands you chose PR from. Interesting. So if I were to do a collab, hmm, I'm just gonna sit here and like think for a bit. One eternity later. I would want to collab with an indie brand that I've recently found and completely fallen head over heels in love with. Make up a murder. I would want to do a collab. I don't know if it would be pigments. I don't know if it would be eyeshadow. It could be anything. I would love that. That would be, how cool would that be? Anything crime scene theme, but still it's like some cute makeup. Let me see. What could it be? Maybe like a bundle. Maybe another palette that's more earthy tones like greens and browns because this palette while it's gorgeous it is very very colorful so maybe a collab for another palette where you could call it the the body farm palette and it's got like deep burgundies and greens and browns like the body farm in tennessee <sighs> yeah <laughs> i'd be all over that that would be so cool yeah that's and that'd be great. You'd be, you'd be working with a, a small company and it would be an indie brand. I think that'd be perfect. Okay, so those are all the questions. I had a lot of fun. That actually like made me think a lot. Even though it was like a short tag, I got a lot out of it. And I hope you guys did too. If you're watching this and you have an Instagram or a YouTube, I tag you. I want to see your answers to these questions. If you do this, either DM me on Instagram or let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.